Welcome to another All About Symbian video cast. This time we're going to be talking about Symbian Moat phones. These are the phones that are available in the Japanese market on the NTT Docomo carrier. They all have a variety of common services but we're going to be focusing on some of the features of the handset and looking at some of the handsets that are shipping now. We'll start with the Mitsubishi D903i. This is a basic handset for the Japanese market. It boasts a 3.2 megapixel camera and weighs in at about 113 grams. One of the notable features of this phone is the scroll wheel that is used to control the user interface. Scrolling up and down is used to go through menu lists and there's a central button for going into a specific command. Moving on we have the Mitsubishi D800i dual screen phone. This is a phone that has two screens with the lower phone being a touch screen that changes depending on the command or the place in the UI. You can do a number of things with this including handwriting recognition and as shown here you can use it for basic drawings. These can be then sent as a message. This is a similar to MMS type service but obviously with a dual screen like this you can get a lot more out of it. Some of the features you can see here are the inputting of icons but the dual screen is also used in other places to create a keyboard that's specific to the command being carried out. For example, it's used to create specific lists of commands in the messaging application. Another nice feature of this phone is that when you close it, you get an interesting LED effect on the screen that you can see here. These kind of design touches are fairly common in the Japanese phones. Moving on to the Sony Ericsson SO903i, this is a multimedia phone that uses much of the Sony Ericsson branding, including Bravia screen technology and Walkman music technology. You can see some of the services listed here include Torikai and iMode. That's a basic WAP type service which contains a lot of mobile web type information. When you close the SO903i you can also see that this is a multimedia phone. It's got common music controls on the front and you can access the majority of the functionality. The Sharp SH903i TV is a TV phone with an Aquos screen. It's three inches across and uses one segment mobile TV technology. There's a two megapixel camera included but this does come at a cost. It weighs in at about 140 grams. However you can see here that the picture quality is superb and with the swiveling screen you can watch it either in portrait mode or in landscape mode. One segment includes support for things like episode information and program information and there's a variety of interactive services available too. As you can see here the phone isn't particularly big in terms of dimensions. It's a pretty impressive TV phone and it's the sort of thing we'll probably see here in due course. Next we look at the Fujitsu F903iX. This is a high speed phone capable of downloading at 3.6 megabits per second. This is used as a specific technology on the FOMA network. You can see that this is another, another swivel head phone intended to be used in either portrait or in landscape mode. Finally we see the Mitsubishi D903i TV. This is another one segment phone, mobile TV phone. As you can see here, the program information is accessible. If we go up to the top of the menu here, you can then go in to see what the channel name is, what the program is, and a brief description. As with the other TV phones, this operates in both portrait, or, if we turn the phone, in landscape mode. The phone also supports live pause. You can see here that the TV has been paused, and then it starts again, and then it's paused again. This gives you a quick roundup of some of the Japanese FOMA phones.